walking uh, water festival you can see behind me uh, very crowded uh, but we are going to the riverside and we are going to see a bit what's going on this is the last day of the water festival there are 378 uh, racing boats and uh, I will show you guys what's going on behind me the Rhea Palace so many people you can see like ants very crowded area I'm just behind the Royal Palace uh, this is the last day of the water festival you can see behind me pretty crowded this is the first water festival since uh, uh, the COVID outbreak that was uh, actually for two years and actually uh, last year in 2022 there was no water festival so this is the first time in three years the only foreign boat that was uh, at the competition you can see this uh, guy is wearing the Berlin Dragons shirt they were the only uh, foreign boat and yeah uh, it's a it's a famous competition you can imagine 378 boats so these uh, guys competed actually. Finally, the final, the final is about to begin and uh, you can see the finishing line is, uh, you can see, this is the red line, so this is the finishing line and uh, this is uh, the race. About to finish soon. We have the red, we have the green and we have the yellow. All pushing themselves, they are pushing themselves. Pushing themselves.
officials, the VIP uh, panel. foreign uh, ball at the competition. They won four and they lost two. Pretty impressive from Germany. Hello, my name is Leo from Germany, from Berlin, and uh, I'm a team member of the Monty Dragons Berlin. Uh, it's the oldest uh, Dragon Ball team in Germany. And we are the first time uh, here in Cambodia for competing the the, set, uh, the, the long boat, uh, so it's a very, it's an honor for us being here in Germany and uh, Cambodia. So uh, and we, yeah, we had six races. Uh, we uh, lose uh, the first two races, and, and then we win the, the next uh, four races. So it was a pleasure being here. It was an uh, amazing uh, adventure for us. Yes, that's what, what was the biggest challenge for your team coming into a new country like Cambodia? What was the biggest challenge for your team? I think there's no big challenge because we have a contact here in, in Cambodia who organized uh, the, the boat and, uh, and uh, managed all uh, everything here in Cambodia. So it wasn't, it wasn't uh, so, so easy. It was very easy for us. How, how do you find Cambodia since it was your first time? How did you find the country, the city, the people? Uh, we like Cambodia. Very people, uh, all the people are very nice to us and uh, it's, it's okay for us. So thank you very much and it was uh, nice seeing you guys today. And uh, how about next uh, year? Uh, are you all guys also participating? Uh, do you have any plans for your team? Uh, we don't know, but maybe it's uh, maybe it was the first time for us, and maybe all the last. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, wow, this is the oldest team in Germany, 1990. This was the ins the first year that the team was created. Can you imagine, guys? And they are just um, regular people that have a big passion for racing competitions. Amazing, amazing. Best part is the fireworks. This is uh, very amazing. But uh, yes, it's a uh, Cambodian traditional. Uh, you can imagine team from Germany that was created in 1990. They uh, came and joined this competition and uh, they were invited. It's very difficult to join any competition here at this uh, water festival. You have to have a connection, but yes, they joined this competition and now you can see the fireworks behind. So cool. Wow, amazing. This was the foreign uh, pavilion for all foreigners and uh, the Union Berlin team, you can see the fireworks, uh, the team that competed, you can see Berlin Dragons, they are the uh, only foreign team that competed in this uh, water festival that was held for two days. Beautiful fireworks. Foreign pavilion. All foreigners. The VIP stand. Thank you.